Pepper and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant! Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh! We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <gasps> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! Then jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello, everyone. Are you ready to dance? Yes! yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish splash Dance, 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 dance in muddy puddles Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash Yay! This is a very muddy festival Peppa <laughs> loves the muddy festival Everyone loves the muddy festival Is a lovely sunny day Rebecca and Richard Rabbit have come to play with Pepper and George. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer, please? Sorry, Pepper. I need to do my work today. Oh. Why don't you go and play in your room instead? But we don't know what games to play. Oh, there's lots of games you can play. You could have a tea party or do a jigsaw puzzle. We've already played with those things, Mummy. <laughs> 
What about your marble run? You haven't played with that for ages. Marble run! Pepper and George <laughs> love their marble run. What does it do? Squeak! You pick a marble and you put it in here. And it goes tumble tumble all the way down to the bottom. Ooh! I'll show you. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> again, again! Again! Bye bye, Mummy. You can go and do your work now. Oh, thank you, Peppa. Have fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Rebecca. You take this marble and you... Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. And then you can add some more bits to the marble run. Let's make it the biggest marble run ever. Yay! <laughs> Let's add this wiggly bit. And a windmill bit. The marble will make it go round and round. Do you want to have a go, George? <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it's going down the windmill bit. And the wiggly bit. And there. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Let's add more bits. Yes! Let's make the biggest marble run ever! <laughs> wow! That looks good, Rebecca! Now it's Richard's turn! Marble run! Richard has lots of marbles! <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Look at all the marbles going everywhere! <laughs> I thought I heard your marble run, Pepper. Can I join in? Yes, Daddy. Oh, goody. Let's make it bigger. Daddy Pig loves building the marble run. Ah, there are no more bits of marble run left in the box. Oh. Never mind. We can use other things, like this jigsaw and this doll's house. We want it even bigger, Daddy. I'll go and see if there's anything in the office we could use. Aha! <laughs> Look, Daddy. We've added some more bits and bobs. Very good. And I've found these tubes to make a tunnel. Wow! The marble will go all around the room. This is the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it out. Ooh, can I go first? OK, Daddy. You have to put the marble in there. Ready, steady, go! The marble is going all around the room. Ooh, it's going all around the world. <laughs> there it goes. Dinosaur! <laughs> Where's it going now? The marble has rolled out of the bedroom, down the stairs, through the hallway, and into the front room. The whole house is a marble run. <laughs> it's bouncing everywhere. Ah, Goldie the fish. Whew. Got you. Hooray! <laughs> What was all that noise? It was the noise of the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy Mouse's birthday. Today is Mandy Mouse's birthday. As a special treat, Mandy is going to Cheese World with her friends. Mandy, what is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever. There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain, and a cheese sky. Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese. <laughs> you like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right! And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. All aboard! Hold tight, everyone! 
this rabbit? Are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. Oh. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow! Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have. Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! And if you push the lever, the plane goes down. Ooh! All aboard your aeroplanes! <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> There's the cheese sun. <laughs> and the clouds are cottage cheese. I can see the whole world, and it's all cheese. Ooh. Was that fun? Yes! <laughs> Told you it would be the most fun ever! <laughs> Hello, Mandy Mouse. Lovely to see you at Cheese World again. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Have you told your friends about my castle of cheese? I told them the castle of cheese was the best bit. Too <laughs> right. It's where we get to smell real cheese. No pretend cheese here. Ooh. Follow me, if you dare, into my castle of cheese. <laughs> Let's start by smelling a mild cheese. Mmm, that smells good. I like it too. Not much of a smell. <laughs> Now for some decently strong cheese. <laughs> ah, that's more like it. A proper stinky one. Ooh, it smells like my daddy's socks. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, we come to the strongest cheese in the whole world. Here goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call cheese. Mmm, it's the nicest smell I've ever smelt. <laughs> you do so love cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. I like smelling cheese and I like eating cheese even more. <laughs> Funny you should say that because it's time for your birthday cake. And it's a cheesecake! Happy birthday, Mandy! This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the museum. This way, children, follow me! Here is Miss Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Has anyone ever been to a museum before? Yes! yes. Good! Then you know that in a museum you can look but not touch. Because everything in a museum is very delicate. Oops. Yes, these old things break easily. But today, we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here, you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy. Now try that rope with the pulleys on it. Wow, now it's easy. <gasps> My goodness, how does that work? Well, it's... Um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes, that's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a tube. Hello, Susie Sheep here. Oh, where are you? I am here. Where? I can't see you. Let's find the 
end of the tube. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep Hair. Amazing. Or maybe in the future, this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? Magic balloons! Get your magic balloons here! Are they really magic balloons? Uh, no. Not really, but they're still pretty amazing. Want to see? Yes, please! All we need to do is rub it like this, and then... The balloon is sticking to the wall. Magic! No, not magic, but static. How does it work? No idea. Protons are said to have a charge of plus one electron unit, while electrons have a charge of minus one. Which explains static. What was that bang? Hello, children! Here is Grumpy Rabbit. Now it's time for some dangerous science. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. There is a responsible adult in charge. Me. Who wants to ride in this rocket? Me, 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 me! Pepper, kindly jump in. Um, are you sure this is completely safe? Of course it's safe. Now, Pepper, put your hands against mine. On the count of three, push! One, two, three, push! Wow, I'm moving! Yes, that's called propulsion! Ah! But real rockets use rocket fuel to blast off. Who wants to fly in this rocket? Me, 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 me! It has to be someone small. There's not much room inside. I'm small! Perfect! In you get, Edmund! And uh, this is completely safe for children too? Yes, the rocket just flies itself. No, I meant... Off you go. Oh, my goodness! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> Lucky the museum has a high ceiling! <laughs> and that is how rocket propulsion works. That was fun! It was brilliant! It was, uh... Unbelievable! <laughs> Pepper loves the Science Museum. Everyone loves the Science Museum. Eland. Pepper and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato! Me too! Super Potato is the best! Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Always remember to eat your five. We've seen this before. I know all the words by heart. Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words Forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. please. OK, let's go to TV Land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes! Very good. Follow me. <laughs> Look, it's Super Potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. 
He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. ...sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course! Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day! Hundreds and hundreds of times! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. The Petting Farm. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig! <laughs> this is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the Farmer. Hello. Hello! Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands! That's right! <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly! <laughs> I love bubbles! And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. <laughs> here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please. please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens! Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh, and their fluffy little bodies. 
You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Ah, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <laughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. Detective Potato. Peppa and George are watching Detective Potato on TV. Help me, Detective Potato. I cannot find my bicycle. Aha! This is your bicycle. Uh, no, it is not. Then this is your bicycle. Yes, it is. Thank you, Detective Potato. Oh, oh, Detective Potato is great at solving mysteries. He's the best detective in the world. Right, that's enough potato for today. We're going to the shopping centre. Oh, goody. I love the shopping centre. What are we going to buy at the shops? A big bag of gravel. I'm trying out a new concrete mix idea. Oh. This is the shopping centre. First, Daddy Pig has to find somewhere to park. Hmm, this floor is full. So where do we park, Daddy? Don't worry, there are lots of other floors. Oh, this floor is full too. Oh, oh, up we go. Everywhere looks the same. Yes. That's why you must always remember what floor you park your car on, so you can find your car again. I don't believe it. Not a single space. There's a space. Brilliant. Well done, Pepper. The car is parked. Now we take the lift to the shops. What button do we press? Let's see. Are the shops on floor six or floor three? Here we go. Floor five for the shops. Here is Miss Rabbit's gravel shop. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. One bag of gravel, please. Help yourself. It's heavy, so I hope you don't have far to go. Oh, oh, I only have to carry it to the car. <laughs> My goodness, that is a bit heavy. I hope you find your car. I'm always losing my car in that huge car park. <sighs> what button do I press, Daddy? Just press the number of the floor we parked on. So, what floor do we park on? Uh, good question. Let's try level six. Where is our car, Daddy? It doesn't seem to be here. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has lost the car. Uh, let's try another floor. This is fun! Peppa likes going up uh. and down in the lift. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Here are Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Is there anything we can help you with? Daddy has lost our car. 
Well, it's not really lost. I've just forgotten exactly where I parked it. A lost car in a place of hundreds of cars where everywhere looks the same. This will be a very hard mystery to solve. Name, please. Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig. Address? Can't we just look for the car? <laughs> I'm afraid not. This will take time to solve. It's not like on the television where they solve mysteries in a flash. <laughs> it's Detective Potato! At your service. Detective Potato? Daddy lost our car. Aha! That is a mystery only I can solve. Thank you, but we don't need any help. We have the situation under control. Quiet, please. I need silence to work. This is your car. Uh, no. This is your car. No. This is your car. Yes, that is our car. Detective Potato has solved the mystery. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, well done. That was amazing! Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's all in a day's work for a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas at the hospital. It is Christmas Day. <laughs> Pepper and her family are opening their presents. Ah, yes. Socks. Just what I always wanted. Oh, I've got socks too. Lovely. I wonder if you've got socks, Pepper. Uh, I hope not. Hooray! A toy car! Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Don't be sad if it's socks, George. Airplane! Yeah. Oh, what a fantastic Christmas! <laughs> yes. All I want to do now is sit back and do nothing for the rest of the day. <laughs> Pepper, George, careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow! My arm! Oh dear. Pepper has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm. I think we should call Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. So, Pepper, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? Ugh, that will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. Why are you here? I bumped my arm. I banged my leg and I got a sticker. Wow! Sit yourself down and tell me where it hurts. Here, on my arm. Can you wiggle your fingers? A little bit. Can you say banana? Banana? That was a joke to make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Good. We just need to take a picture of your arm with the x-ray. Ooh, what's the x-ray? It shows us the bones inside your body. How does it work? It uses a cathode and anode controlled beam of electromagnetic... It's magic! Ooh! The x-ray shows your arm will be fine, Peppa. And for being so brave, you get a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Look, I got a sticker. That's nice. Oh, Pedro, you look sad. I'm sad because Father Christmas hasn't been. What? Haven't you got your Christmas present? No, not yet. Right, who's next? Ah, oh, good. At last. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> Father, Father Christmas. Christmas. Father Christmas! Yes, he's much more important than me. <gasps> Father Christmas!
Christmas. Sit yourself down, Mr Christmas, and tell me where it hurts. Oh, no. I'm not here because I'm ill. I'm here with Pedro's Christmas present. Thank you. I wonder what it is. Hopefully it's not socks. Hooray! A toy boat. Sorry I'm a bit late, but I got my tummy stuck in a chimney. Those chimneys get smaller every year. Oh, dear. Tummy stuck in a chimney? Maybe I should just give you a quick check-up. Open wide. Say ho, ho, ho for me, please. Ho, ho, ho. Good. You're fine. Have a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for looking after everyone at Christmas time. Just doing my job, Father Christmas. Just doing my job. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Breakfast Club. Pepper and her friends are going to playgroup earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to playgroup early today? Is it because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to play group early because today is Breakfast Club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at Breakfast Club? Eat our breakfast! Correct! I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, no thank, thank you. you. OK. The bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hoppla! Got it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm me, me, I'm me. Me. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh! It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Everyone has caught their toast. Again, again, again! No, children, eat the toast you have first. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting...
getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has <laughs> lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam. Toast, toast, toast. toast. Breakfast is... In the future. Pepper is at Susie Sheep's house this evening. Mummy Sheep and Mummy Pig are going out. Don't worry, Mummy. We can look after the house while you're away. That's very kind of you, Susie. But we have a special babysitter coming. That'll be her now. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. It's my cousin, Charlotte. Charlotte Sheep <laughs> is the babysitter. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. We won't be out late. You can watch TV and I've made you some pizza. Oh, thank you. You two be good. We will. Bye. Bye-bye. How old are you, Charlotte? I'm 17. 17? That's very grown up. You can do anything you like when you're grown up. That's right. You can drive a car and even stay up late. Wow! In the future, when you're grown up, you'll be able to do that too. Ooh! But grown ups also have to go to work, you know. That sounds fun! Can we stay up late with you, Charlotte? Sorry, it's your bedtime now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> night night, sleep well. Night night! night. night. <sighs> Susie! Yes? Are you awake? Yes. I wish I was grown up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. And going to the cinema and staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drive. So will I. <laughs> Daddy Dog will be a spaceman. Yes. I'm off to space. <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. Dinosaur. Grr. <laughs> and Freddy Fox will be a policeman. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this here, then? This is our grown-up car. Can you beep your horn for me, please? <laughs> Very good. Off you go, then. Bye! Bye. What will your job be? I will be a nurse. But in my lunch break, I will fly a plane. Good afternoon, everybody. We are now flying all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> what will your job be, Peppa? My job will be doing important work on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> we will live in a big house with fountains. And a swing. <laughs> and I will marry Pedro. Or Danny. And I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and we will live with all our friends. Hello. And all our children will be there. <laughs> <laughs> but who will look after all these children? We will. Bedtime, everybody. Time for your tea. No football in the house. Phew. Phew. Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep have arrived back home. Hello. Has everything been OK? Yes, everything's been fine. Hello. Are you two still awake? Yes, Mummy. We've been thinking about the future. <coughs> it's very tiring being a grown-up. Yes, it is. <sighs> we need to get some rest. Yes, you do. Good night, little ones. Good night, grown-ups. 
Pepper and Susie need a good night's rest to be ready for the future. Fire station practice. Today is the Mummy's Fire Station practice day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy, can we stay and watch you practice? Oh, there won't be much to see, Pepper. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. This first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! Whee! Into the fire engine and off they go! Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! 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 Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready, now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready? Steady! Go! Mummy Dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose. And Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on! Water on! Steady, Mummy! Steady! The target is hit. And the fire is out! Hooray! That looks fun. It's hard work, Daddy Pig. Is it really? Yes. Just feel how heavy this fire hose is. Oh, yes. That is heavy. And that's even before we've turned the water on. Turn the water on! OK! It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes! yes. And how do we get super fit? On the Fire Station Obstacle Course. This is the Fire Station Obstacle Course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go! The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go! Go! Yee! Woo! Next is the confusing crawling tube. Oh, where am I? <laughs> oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. Ah! Through the tricky tippy toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <sighs> And down the yippee zip wire! Yippee! 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 Oh dear, Mummy Pig is stuck. <gasps> Mummy, are you all right? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 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 <laughs> Everyone likes fire station practice, especially when there are muddy puddles to jump in. The electric car. Pepper and George are in their bedroom. <laughs> George is playing with his toy car. Oh, the car is broken. <laughs> what 
What is it, George? Car, car! Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy's home! <laughs> <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No, I'm just trying it out. It looks funny. It's an electric car. It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh. Just like George's toy car. <laughs> Daddy's got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. The car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. Look! The battery is charging up. Finished! The electric car is fully charged up. Right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! Wow! This car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet until they start talking. What do you mean, talking? Ho, ho, it's time you met Roger. Hey, Roger. Hello, my name is Roger. <gasps> Hello, Roger. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Roger is very clever. He always knows which way to go and he can park all by himself. Wow! wow. I can even drive by myself. Really? really? Sit back and relax, Daddy Pig. Let me drive. OK, if you say so. Ooh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am an expert driver. Whee! It's a magic car! <laughs> Stop! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? Driving with no hands, Daddy Pig. I wasn't driving. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Well, if you weren't driving, then who was? Car driving itself, was it? Yes, yes it, it was. was. Well, I'd better talk to the car, then, hadn't I? Hello, car. Hello. Whoa! What in the wide world was that? He's called Roger and he's very nice. Yes, he can even drive himself. Can you now? Well, to drive on these roads, you need a driving license. Oh. oh. So, Roger, do you have a driving license? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, in that case, everything seems to be in order. Bye. Bye. Drive safely. Roger the car is driving safely. Amazing! Roger can do everything. George's car can sing. George, George, driving along, <laughs> driving while I sing a song. Can you sing, Roger? Yes, I can sing. Car, car, electric car, travelling near and travelling far. Knows exactly where you are. Knows exactly where you are. Oh! Where are we? We are now arriving home. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Roger. At your service. Will you be all right outside in the night? Oh, yes. I'm used to it. OK, Roger. Sleep well. Thank you, Pepper. You too. Pepper loves Roger. Everybody loves Roger the electric car. Botanical Gardens. Today, Pepper and George are going to the Botanical Gardens. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. 
we have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> Oh, dear. George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No. Our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop them melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. This is the rainforest garden. Wow! wow. Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. Uh -huh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle. <laughs> wow. Come on, George. Whee! Pepper loves all the botanical gardens, especially... The sandcastle. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George have come to the seaside. <laughs> I'm going to make a sandcastle. <laughs> I want to make a sandcastle too. And me. OK, George and me will show you how. <laughs> Put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over. Tap it with your spade. Good. Now, lift up the bucket. Ta-da! 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 Pepper, George, <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have made four sandcastles. Nay! Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Pedro. Do you like our sandcastles? Yes, but it would be better if you had walls joining them together, like this. <laughs> Good idea, Pedro. Yes, lovely walls. <laughs> the walls have joined the castle together. Now it's one big sandcastle. Wendy Wolf is at the seaside too, with her daddy. That's a good castle. 
Thank you, Wendy. I like the walls. Nothing like good, strong walls. What are they made of? Straw? Sticks? Bricks? Sand. Excellent. Let's make something in the middle. Like what? How about the biggest sandcastle in the world? Yes! yes. We need a heap of sand. <laughs> Wendy, Pedro, Pepper and George are making a hill in the middle of the castle. And on the very top... Ta-da! It looks great. Yes, really good. Now it needs the bobbly bits. What are bobbly bits? All castles have bobbly bits on top of the walls, like this. Ah! Wendy Wolf is using pebbles to make the castle's bobbly bits. And it needs flags. <laughs> Pepper and George are collecting little sticks and some seaweed to make flags. <laughs> it needs windows. <laughs> Pedro is using <laughs> shells to make windows. <laughs> there. What a fantastic sandcastle. Let's add a moat. What's a moat? You'll see. We dig the moat all around outside the wall. Good idea. Everyone help dig. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to fill the moat with water. Let's get water from the sea. <laughs> the moat is full of water. The castle's finished. Hooray! I wish it could be my home and I could live in it. <laughs> You're too big to live in a sandcastle, Peppa. Here is Mr. Crab. He's come to take a look at the castle. Hello, Mr. Crab. Do you have a home to live in? Oh, he looks sad. <coughs> I don't think Mr. Crab has a home. He can live in our castle. Yes, in you go, Mr. Crab. <coughs> oh, but how does he get across the moat? He needs a bridge. <laughs> George has found a piece of driftwood. <laughs> George has made a bridge. Mr. Crab likes the bridge. But he can't get inside the castle. We just need to make a little door. Mr. Crab is the king of the castle. <laughs> it's the best sign castle in all the world. <laughs> Super Potato Movie! Pepper and George are going to see the Super Potato Movie at the cinema. Super Potatoes, get your Super Potatoes here! Ooh, could we get a Super Potato, please, Daddy? Is it made of plastic, Mr Fox? It's better than that. It's made of potato. Made of potato? Yes, it's a potato. Well, in that case, I'll have two, please. Would everyone please take their seats? The film is about to start. Ooh. Now, does anyone need to go to the toilet? No, no Mummy Pig. Pig. Good, then let's go in. This is the cinema where the film will be shown. Hello, Rebecca. <coughs> I've got Super Potato. I've got Mrs Carrot. Help! Save me, Super Potato! <laughs> Super Potato, to the rescue! <laughs> Shush, Pepper. The film is about to start. Super Potato, the movie! Hooray! Far away, in the land of fruit and vegetables, there is a problem. Help! My foot is stuck. We need a rescue! Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone call my name? Hooray! By the power of vegetables, I am here. You're my hero. Hooray! Mommy, I need the toilet. OK, come on then. Sorry, excuse us. Miss Rabbit is in the projector room. Is this the toilet? No, Peppa, this is the projector. What's a projector? 
Doctor? It's the machine that shows the film you're watching. See? Oh, yes! The Super Potato! <laughs> I get to watch Super Potato six times a day. Wow! I wish I was a superhero. You are a superhero to us, Miss Rabbit. You do all the important jobs. Yes, I have just cleaned the toilets. You'll find them down the corridor on your left. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hurry up! Mrs Carrot's about to be rescued again. Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone say my name? I am on my way. Hooray! What's happening now? Mrs Carrot got stuck in the mud. By the power of vegetables, I am here! You're my hero! Yay! I want to be a super potato when I grow up. Here comes the song bit. <laughs> Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the stage, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am actually here! Did you enjoy the movie, children? Yes! Show us how you fly! How do I fly? Like this! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! Oh dear, Super Potato is stuck in the cinema roof. Help! Call for Super Potato! That is Super Potato! Quick, call for Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Did someone call my name? Help! Oh! I'm on my way! Yay! Help! Help! Miss Rabbit to the rescue! Help! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has rescued Super Potato! Wow! Oof! When I grow up, I want to be Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Looking for things! Pepper and her family are in the kitchen. Mummy Pig is making an apple pie. Is the apple pie ready yet, Mummy? No, Pepper. It has to cook in the oven. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait. Yes. What are you all doing? We're waiting for the apple pie. Well, it's going to take time to cook. Why don't you all wait somewhere else? Oh, oh okay. okay. What do we do now? Well, I was going to do my crossword puzzle, but I can't find anything to write with. We'll find you something, Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> George, we need to find something for Daddy to write with. <laughs> George has found Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Can't write with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> George has found a toy train. And you can't write with a train. Oh. Look, a crayon. <laughs> Daddy can write with this. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Daddy, we found something to write with. Oh, a crayon. Just what I needed. Thank you, Pepper and George. Hmm. Ah! Oh. Can we look for something else? OK, let's play a looking game. Find something that is the shape of a square. A square? Yes, there must be something square-shaped in this room. Can you see a square, George? George has found a clock. Hmm. That's a circle. Oh. We need to find a square. That picture is a square. <laughs> Very good. You found a square. Hooray! What should we look for now? Now you must find something that makes a squeaky noise. Something that makes a squeaky noise. Try looking in the bathroom. Okay. 
<laughs> Look for something that makes a squeaky noise, George. George has found a towel. Towels don't squeak. <laughs> Towels are very quiet. Oh. Squeaky, the rubber duck. <laughs> that makes a squeaky noise. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, look what we found. Oh, oh, excellent. Now see if you can find something the colour of blue. Something blue? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have found a ball. That's not blue. That's red. Oh. Pepper and George look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Aw, there's nothing blue here. Pepper and George look in the office. Everything is not blue. Did you find anything? There is nothing in the whole house that is blue. Hmm, have you looked in the mirror? Daddy, the mirror is not blue. <gasps> blue! What is it, George? Blue! <laughs> George is blue. That's right. <laughs> Peppa, George. Mummy, Mummy, we've been looking for things. Oh, I've got something you can look for. What is it, Mummy? It's round. A ball. Round and flat on top. A bit like a hat. A hat. And it tastes yummy. The apple pie. Yes, the apple pie is ready. Hooray! Hooray! I love looking for things. And I love finding things, especially when it's apple, apple pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family are visiting Cousin Chloe's house for the day. Hello. Hello. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> As it's such a sunny day, we thought we'd have a picnic in the garden. Oh, that would be lovely. Come on, Pepper and George. <laughs> Race you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good spot for a picnic. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Ooh, look at all the flowers in the grass. Yes, let's pick them. <laughs> I will pick the buttercups. I will pick the daisies. <laughs> No, George. You need to find your own flower to pick. <laughs> Ooh. George has found some very pretty flowers. George, don't pick the flowers in the flower bed. Only pick the flowers in the grass. <laughs> Chloe is collecting buttercups. Pepper is collecting daisies. George is collecting grass. <laughs> Don't pick grass, George. Pick dandelions, like this one. <laughs> Pepper, George, would you like to see a trick with buttercups? Yes, please. <laughs> George, do you like butter? George does not know if he likes butter. Let me see. <laughs> yes, George, you do you like butter? <laughs> How can you tell? If I hold a buttercup under George's chin and it shines yellow, that means he likes butter. <gasps> do it to me! Do it to me! Pepper, do you like butter? You do! <laughs> it's true! I do like butter! <laughs> I've got a trick I can do with daisies. Oh, what's that? If I put a daisy under your chin and it shines yellow, then, um, then that means you like cheese. Really? Yes. George, do you like cheese? <laughs> cheese. Yes, George does like cheese. Oh, there's no yellow. Are you sure you like cheese, George? <laughs> I think they are the wrong type of daisies. Oh. Don't worry. There is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First, you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then, make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain! Wow! wow. Let me try! <laughs> make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> 
we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the daisy queen, Peppa. Yes, I am the daisy queen. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the daisy queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. <laughs> George likes being a lion. <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen. And this is George the Lion. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, oh, I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. Perfect day. Peppa and her family are going to a shopping centre today. That's a big shop. It's not one shop, Peppa. It's lots of shops all under the same roof. Wow. But we're not shopping today. Not shopping at the shops? No. Mummy's here for a perfect day experience. Ooh. This is Miss Rabbit's spa. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for your perfect day experience? Yes, I think so. But what exactly is it? Oh, lots of lovely things. You can have a massage. <clears throat> have your fingernails painted. Or have a herbal face wash. Oh, that all sounds lovely. Do we have to do it too, Daddy? No, Peppa. We can go and find our own perfect day. Oh, goody. Bye, Mummy. See you later. Where are we going to find our perfect day, Daddy? Hmm, I don't know. It's just shops and shops and... Ooh, magic moving stairs. That, Peppa, is an escalator. Can we go on it? Yes. Hold my hand. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> Peppa has reached the top. Quick, Daddy. I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah! You're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. Peppa and George are back at the bottom. But Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use the lift. Ooh. I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find... <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Peppa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. I think it's broken. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> There's more. Smile. When does it flash? Ah, oh, I missed it again. <laughs> you a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. Has it finished yet? <laughs> I think I might be in that one. <laughs> Here are the pictures. Look at all of those funny faces. <laughs> again, again! I think it's time we pick up Mummy Pig. Mummy! 
Did you have a perfect day? Yes, thank you. I did, Pepper. Did you? Yes. We went up and down the magic stairs and we saw Susie and did some funny pictures. That does sound nice. Home time. Daddy Pig, did you have a perfect day? My perfect day starts when we get home. Daddy, what's your perfect day? <laughs> Come and see! <laughs> Whee! Daddy Pig is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. It's the perfect end to a perfect day! <laughs> it is almost lunchtime at Peppa's house. What does everyone fancy for lunch today? Um, can we have pizza? Pizza, pizza! Good idea. Let's make pizza. Ho, ho! I'm a bit of an expert at making pizza. Can George and me help? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to make pizza, we need flour. Tomatoes. Cheese. And for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn. Mushrooms. Olives. Pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah, pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, Daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our hands, hands, wash them nice and clean. clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean. And put our aprons on. <laughs> Right, let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza! Pepper, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> and George is big and strong too. <laughs> okay, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three, four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. <gasps> Daddy has a pizza on his head. Oh, oh, this one can be mine. <laughs> Pepper, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. I like making pizza. It's lovely and messy. Good. That's enough smoothing and splashing. Now for the cheese. Remember, Daddy, we're making funny faces. Of course. I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. And I'll use onion for eyes and basil leaves for the mouth. I'm doing little tomatoes for the eyes and sweet corn for the mouth. George is using pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the mouth. <laughs> I like funny faces. While they cook, we can tidy up all this mess. Um, you and Mummy can tidy up. And George and I can do some playing. <laughs> oh. Pepper and George like playing. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig like tidying up. <laughs> Peppa! George! Lunch is ready! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, your pizza looks like you. Oh, thank you very much. 
And your pizza looks like you, Daddy. It looks nothing like me. <laughs> I must say, your pizza does look like you, Pepper. Does it? Oh, goody. And George's looks like George. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best pizzas in the world ever. <laughs> Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Buried treasure. <laughs> Molly Mole and Freddy Fox have come to play with Pepper and George. What shall we play? Let's do digging. Um, I'm not very good at digging. I am. Squeak. Watch this. <laughs> Molly Mole is good at digging. Wow, Molly's digging a long tunnel. <laughs> Oh, I found something. What is it? Wow. wow! It's a pirate treasure chest. I wonder how it got there. It's a mystery. <coughs> We'd better tell my daddy. My goodness, where did this hole come from? Daddy, daddy, we found some pirate treasure at the end of our tunnel. Treasure? How did it get there? We don't know. It's a mystery. Maybe we should call the police. <laughs> They'll know what to do. This is the police station. Hello, police station. Hello, it's Daddy Pig here. We found some pirate treasure. Pirate treasure, you say? We'll be right there. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. <laughs> so, where's this pirate treasure then? Under the ground. <laughs> we were just digging this tunnel when suddenly we found this. Yes, yes, yes. That's pirate treasure, all right. It's just like the pirate treasure we have back at the police station. Let's take this back and put it with the other one. Oh dear, Police Officer Panda is dropping coins along the way. Right, back to the police station. <laughs> Can we have the Nina, please? Why not? Nina, 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 Nina. This way to the lost property. Down here is where we keep all the lost things. Wow, umbrellas, shoes, a lamppost, even a lost cupboard. Ah, oh, that's not lost, Freddy. This is where we keep the pirate treasure. Oh, it's gone. That's strange. Another mystery. Hello, hello, hello. There's a hole in the wall. And a tunnel. Someone has dug a hole and taken our treasure chest down the tunnel. A criminal mastermind, no doubt. I wonder where it goes. Look, there are coins on the floor. Uh-huh, a trail. Let's follow the trail. We'll soon find out who took our treasure. We're outside my house. And the trail of coins ends. Now we'll never know who took the treasure from the police station. It's a mystery. I know who took it. Who? We did. Eh? Follow me. <laughs> This is the tunnel we dug this morning. Yes. It goes all the way back to the police station. And? We didn't know it was the police station, but this is where we found the treasure. So you found the pirate treasure that was in our lost property cupboard. Yes. Mystery solved. Well done, Freddy. Hooray! Hooray! That was excellent police work. Yes. I do believe you'll make a very good police officer one day. Just remember to keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> Who left that lamppost there? That's not a safe place for a lamppost. I'll make a note. Dangerous obstruction in workplace environment. Ho, ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. And the mystery of the buried pirate treasure is solved. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> buried treasure. 
<laughs> Molly Mole and Freddy Fox have come to play with Pepper and George. What shall we play? Let's do digging. Um, I'm not very good at digging. I am. Squeak. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Molly Mole is good at digging. Wow! Molly's digging a long tunnel. <laughs> oh, I found something. What is it? Wow! It's a pirate treasure chest. I wonder how it got there. It's a mystery. We'd better tell my daddy. My goodness! Where did this hole come from? Daddy! Daddy! We found some pirate treasure at the end of our tunnel! Treasure? How did it get there? We don't know. It's a mystery. Maybe we should call the police. <laughs> They'll know what to do. This is the police station. Hello! Police station! Hello! It's Daddy Pig here. We found some pirate treasure. Pirate treasure, you say? We'll be right there. Hello, 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 hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. <laughs> so, where's this pirate treasure then? Under the ground. We were just digging this tunnel when suddenly we found this. Yes, yes, yes. That's pirate treasure, all right. It's just like the pirate treasure we have back at the police station. Let's take this back and put it with the other one. Oh, dear. Police officer Panda is dropping coins along the way. Right. Back to the police station. <laughs> Can we have the Nina, please? Why not? Nina, 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 Nina. This way to the lost property. Down here is where we keep all the lost things. Wow! Umbrellas, shoes, a lamppost, even a lost cupboard. Oh, that's not lost, Freddy. This is where we keep the pirate treasure. Oh, it's gone. That's strange. Another mystery. Hello, hello, hello. There's a hole in the wall. And a tunnel. Someone has dug a hole and taken our treasure chest down the tunnel. A criminal mastermind, no doubt. I wonder where it goes. Look, there are coins on the floor. Uh-huh, a trail. Let's follow the trail. We'll soon find out who took our treasure. We're outside my house. And the trail of coins ends. Now we'll never know who took the treasure from the police station. It's a mystery. I know who took it. Who? We did. Eh? Follow me. <laughs> This is the tunnel we dug this morning. Yes. It goes all the way back to the police station. And? We didn't know it was the police station, but this is where we found the treasure. So you found the pirate treasure that was in our lost property cupboard. Yes. Mystery solved. Well done, Freddy. Hooray! Hooray! That was excellent police work. Yes. I do believe you'll make a very good police officer one day. Just remember to keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> Who left that lamppost there? That's not a safe place for a lamppost. I'll make a note. Dangerous obstruction in workplace environment. Ho, oh, oh. ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. And the mystery of the buried pirate treasure is solved. Hooray! <laughs> Granny. Pepper and George are spending the day with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny! <laughs> oh, where's Granny Pig? Here I am. Granny Pig is wearing a pretend beard. Today, I am a caveman. Ooh. Granny and her friends are pretending to be in the Stone Age. What's the Stone Age? Well, it was a long, long time ago. When people lived in caves, 
ate berries and chased big hairy elephants called mammoths. Can we be Stone Age too? Of course you can. I've made you both costumes. Look, George, we're in the Stone Age. <laughs> <laughs> Come and see what we're doing in the garden. Here are Granny Wolf, Granny Dog and Madame Gazelle. Look, everyone. Here are Stone Age Pepper and George. Hello. We are digging a cave with our stone tools. Why don't you have buckets and spades? Stone Age people didn't have buckets and spades. You see, today we are living exactly as people did in the Stone Age. Tea time for thirsty Stone Age people. Oh, lovely. Do Stone Age people drink tea? Uh, not exactly. But I'm sure if they could have had tea, they would have had tea. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm, all this digging has made me rather hungry. Me too. Let's gather berries. Yes, yes berries. Mmm, mm. strawberries. Mm. Ah, you're eating all my precious strawberries. But that's what Stone Age people did. Well, can't you do some other Stone age -y thing instead? I suppose we could chase woolly mammoths. Good idea. But there aren't any woolly mammoths now. Grandpa Pig can be a woolly mammoth. Yes. yes! Oh, all right. If it keeps you away from my strawberries. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. You run and we will chase you. OK. Ho, oh, ho. I'm a woolly mammoth. <sighs> Coming to get you! <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get me! Yes, we will! <laughs> <laughs> Got you! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Pepper and George! Now we carry the mammoth back to our cave! Yes! yes. Lift! Oh, the mammoth is a bit too heavy to carry! <laughs> Actually, Grandpa Pig, would you mind walking? Who? Oh. Very well. <laughs> the Stone Age people have arrived back at their cave. Hmm. It's going to take ages to dig a cave with little bits of stone. I have an idea. Where's my telephone? Granny, did Stone Age people have telephones? Uh, no. But if they could have had telephones, they would have had telephones. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bull speaking. Hello, Mr. Bull. Could you come and dig a big cave for us, please? I'll be right there. Marvellous. Thank you. Stand back, everybody! Mr. Bull has arrived with his digger. Granny, did Stone Age people have diggers? No. But I'm sure if they could have had diggers... They, they would, would have, have had, had diggers. diggers. There you are! Now we can decorate our cave with paintings. Just like Stone Age people did. I'm painting us chasing a woolly mammoth. I'm painting Granny with a cup of tea on the telephone and Mr Bull with a digger. Oh, exactly how it was in the Stone Age. <laughs> 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 Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom. They have made a bit of a mess. <laughs> My goodness, what a mess! Oh, sometimes, Pepper, you could do a tiny bit of tidying up. Then we wouldn't ever have to tell you off. Hmm, why do children get told off? Grown ups don't get told off. Ho, oh, oh. ho, that's one of the very few good things about being a grown up. There. Lovely and tidy. Right. I'm off to the shops. Can George and me come too? OK. <laughs> but I don't think you'll like this particular shopping trip. Daddy, what are you going to buy at the shops? I'm buying a bag of concrete. Daddy Pig likes concrete. Ugh, not the concrete shop again. I'll be as quick as I can. This is the concrete shop. What does that sign mean, Daddy? 
It means you shouldn't park here. So why are you parked here? It's all right, because I won't be long. <laughs> Hello, Daddy Pig. Have you come to do some shopping? Just buying a bag of concrete. It's so boring. Peppa, why don't you and George wait here and help me do my job? Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I won't be long. No problem. What job are you doing today, Miss Rabbit? I'm a traffic warden. Ooh! What does a traffic warden do? I look for cars parked where they shouldn't be. When I find one, I give it a parking ticket. Like this. Ooh! There. One bag of concrete. Say cheese. Cheese. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, what's this? It's a parking ticket. Ah. Oh. Daddy, is a parking ticket like being told off? Uh, yes, Peppa. It's like being told off. Mummy, Mummy, Daddy got a ticket. That's nice. What did he get a ticket for? The cinema or the circus or... I got a parking ticket. Oh, well, hopefully it was just a mistake. Oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look! It's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine. Nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> And even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> <laughs> Recorders. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today you will learn how to play recorders. Ooh. Take a recorder each. <laughs> now, does anyone know how to play music on the recorder? You blow it like this. <gasps> no! oh, but that is not music, Peppa. That is a horrible squeaky noise. <laughs> to make music, we must play in a way that sounds... Uh, not horrible? Yes, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Lovely. You see, all music is made from notes. We just play the notes in the right order. That looks easy. No, do it like this. No, like this. No! Stop! Stop! That was not music at all. 
No, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> <laughs> and why was that? We weren't playing the right notes. And they weren't in the right order. So let us begin by learning the first note. <laughs> This is hard. It will get easier with practice. Now, this is the next note in our tune. Bravo! It is home time. The parents have come to pick up the children. And remember, practice, practice, practice! La, la, la. Oh, somebody is learning how to play the recorder. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Madam Gazelle said I have to practice. Oh, yes. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you while I uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practicing too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practicing the recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> Bravo! Bravo! Ah. Bravo! Haven't the children worked hard? Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Pepper loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's metal detector. Pepper and George are visiting Grandpa and Granny Pig. Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig. Hello, my little ones. What have you got there, George? Robots. It's a robot called Mr. Robot. Shall I show you how it works? Yes, yes please. please. Mr. Robot can walk all by himself, but you need to use this. It's called a key. Oh. You put the key in here, like this, and turn it. <laughs> Very impressive. Oh, it stopped. The long grass is stopping it from walking. Perhaps you could cut it, Grandpa Pig. Yes, maybe later. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh, where's the key? It must have fallen out when Mr. Robot was walking. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'm sure we can find it, can't we, Grandpa? Yes, I have the very thing for finding lost keys in long grass. Now, where is it? The lawnmower is right in front of you, Grandpa Pig. But I'm not looking for the lawnmower. I'm looking for this, my metal detector. Metal detectors are good at finding lost keys. Oh, it's not in the box. Is the metal detector lost as well? I'm afraid so. Oh dear. Sorry, George. The key is lost forever. <laughs> Who can that be? Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Fox. What can I sell you this morning? I've a solar powered torch, 
a wooden frying pan, an electric gnome. Nothing for us today, thank you, Mr. Fox. Unless you've got a metal detector. Metal detector? Well, why didn't you say so? I've got a metal detector right here. Fantastic. It's just like my old one. It's got three settings, finding things, good at finding things, and really good at finding things. Excellent. We'll take it. Now we can find George's lost key. Hooray! How does the metal detector work, Grandpa? I'll show you. Imagine I have lost this coin. I turn on the metal detector and swing it gently from side to side. I'm looking for it here. I'm looking for it there. But, Grandpa, you put the coin here. I know, Pepper. I'm just pretending to look for it. Why don't you pretend to look for it here? Here, you say? Aha! I've found something. It's a coin. Yes, Grandpa. It's the one you just put there. Yes, Peppa. And that's how you find things with a metal detector. Can we have a go? <laughs> of course. Let's find that lost key. <laughs> here. There. Here. We found something. No, oh, it's a nail. Oh. Keep looking. <laughs> here. There. There's something else. A spoon. What's that doing here? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> key, key. George wants to find the key. Ooh, what is it, Grandpa? It's the key. Hooray! <laughs> now we can wind up Mr. Robot. No. George never wants to lose the key again. Don't worry, George. If the key falls out again, we can find it with my new metal detector. <laughs> oh! You found something really big. It's your old metal detector, Grandpa Pig. It was hidden in the long grass all the time. No. <laughs> Excellent. Now I have two metal detectors. When one gets lost, I can find it with the other. But what if they both get lost? Then I'll cut the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato! Me too! Super Potato is the best! Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive! Always remember to eat your five! Always remember to eat your five! We've seen this before. I know all the words by heart. Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. please. OK, let's go to TV land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow! wow. Hello there. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes. Very good. Follow me. Pop 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 potato. Pop 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 potato. Look, it's a potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. 
<laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing. The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. Sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us, us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course. Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day. Hundreds and hundreds of times. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. The Panda Twins. Peppa is going to play group with her friends. Peggy and Pandora Panda are coming too for their first day at playgroup. Have a great day, girls. We will, Daddy. Remember to keep your ears and eyes open. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> I will ring you later to let you know how they are getting on. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mademoiselle. Today, two new pupils are joining our playgroup. Pandora Panda. Hello. And Peggy Panda. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Wow. You both look the same. That's because we're identical twins. Identical <laughs> twins look like each other. Do people get you mixed up? Sometimes. But it's OK. We're used to it. Peggy, Pandora, as it is your first time at Playgroup, you may both choose what we do today. Hmm. We like solving mysteries and we like doing puzzles. Mysteries and puzzles. Let me see. Yes, we have a jigsaw puzzle. Hooray! We love jigsaws. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a cloud. And here is the sun. Maybe they fit together. No, they don't fit. Try turning that piece around. Now they fit. Where does this piece go? Hmm. Try putting the blue sky with the blue sky. It fits! <coughs> and the green grass with the green grass. The jigsaw <laughs> is finished. It's a picture of a house on a sunny day. Well done, children. <laughs> that was great teamwork. Are you enjoying your day, Pandora, Peggy? Yes, thank you. We love doing puzzles and solving mysteries. Our daddy is a policeman. Ooh! I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. And they go... Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes. Perhaps now is a good time to phone your daddy and let him know how we're getting on. Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie, I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place. Every time. We can help you find it. No, I think it is lost. 
Oh, what a mystery! Our daddy always says, keep your ears and eyes open. Yes? Well, if we keep our ears open and somebody calls your phone, then we will hear it ringing. And find my phone! Good idea! <laughs> Peggy and Pandora are very good at solving mysteries. So, who here has a phone? Madam Gazelle, we are little children. Little children do not have mobile phones. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. Hello! The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Good afternoon, mummies and daddies. Could I ask one of you to call my phone, please? I can ring you, Madam Gazelle, but is it not easier to talk to you? I have lost my phone. If you call it, we will hear it ringing. And then you will find your phone. I understand. Brilliant. Oh, it's in my handbag. It was in your handbag all the time. Yes. Sorry about that, everyone. What a clever idea to call your phone to find it. That was Peggy and Pandora's idea. What? You solved the case of the missing phone? Yes. That's my girls. Peggy and Pandora Panda <laughs> love solving mysteries. Everybody loves solving mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>